the most devious lick of all time. Like that. How to scam people with NFTs and how the IRS is going to ruin it. A beginner's guide. Step one, you draw or either have an algorithm create 100 images. You pay to have these cool minted in NFTs. They are, of course, not very valuable and you'd be unlikely to make money selling them. What a shame. Step two, you take out a loan and go to Bob. You say, can you buy this NFT for me? You don't need to pay for it. I'm going to hand you $5,100 and you just turn it into Ethernet points and buy it. It's worth $5,000, so I'll let you keep the extra $100. Bob, of course, agrees. So Bob buys your NFTs and gets $5,000 back, minus some overhead, which you turn back into cash, which, of course, uh, is outside of the Ethernet points ecosystem. You now go to Alice and make her the same offer, but on a different NFT in your batch. You up it to $6,000 this time. She buys it, you get the money, and all that was lost was some overhead fees and some payments for Alice to do this. Now you can go to Carol and have her buy Bob's NFTs. By the way, they do this literally all the time. Remember that? An NFT that was sold for half a billion dollars. That was literally bought and sold by the same guy. Amazon Coffeezilla immediately clapped them by looking at the crypto wallet transaction. But it doesn't matter because a load of people didn't even realize that. It is all a pyramid scheme. Every single part of this is a multi-level marketing pyramid scheme. Over and that's precisely years. how you can game the system. You hand Carol... 10100 to buy. She buys it for 10000 Bob keeps the $100, cashes the 9900 for you. You just spent 200 to prove your NFT work is $10,000. That's what happens when you... When is the unionized... That's what happens dropping. when... This is just a pure speculative asset. I ignore sh this shit. I have no idea how it works, lol. Uh, I missed the last drop. Sad, so I bought one each this time. The merch is dope, bro. Keep it up. Love Durian. Parasocial sugar warning. I'm proud of you. For everything he does it's not for even marketing. It's multi-level scamming. So after doing this for a while, you approach Mark and say, Hey, look, I'm making these NFT things, and I've only got one left. If you are looking at how much they sold for, 5000 10000 and prices are going up, you can resell them anytime to get your money back. But for you, I'll give you a discount. You can have this MS Paint squiggle for only 4000 a bargain. Mark isn't sure. This doesn't look like something that's valuable. But you can point to mark the transaction history perfectly preserved in the in the Bork chain, blockchain. The NFTs have sold for five thousand each, ten thousand each, resold for even more. You got a market cap of five million dollars because of what uh, Bork chain doesn't know and can't know. It's okay. that you use the same money over and over again to purchase Ethernet points, transfer it around, and then cash it back out. Maybe you only had twenty five thousand dollars and have only actually lost five thousand. But as far as Ethernet points ecosystem thinks, you've sold things for millions of dollars in total. It's like that time the Soviets flew three new bombers past an air show and the Americans were like, oh, they have three bombers. But then three more planes, planes flew past, another three and another three, and the Americans panicked. They have a ton of bombers. No, they just had three. They were just flying out of sight, making a big circle and flying past again. But okay, Mark agrees to buy your NFTs after all, and the Borg chance is it's worth uh, tons of money, and they can always sell it. Can't you make 4000 You've spent 5000 making all your NFTs content. look worthwhile, so you're still in the hole. But the efforts to make this one look good apply to all the others too, and you've made 100 so you sell them all, making four hundred thousand income on five thousand dollar expense. Net gain three hundred ninety-five thousand dollars. And now you have the capital to do this again. You can make a hundred more, and then find more marks. And when those marks go to sell the NFTs, they'll find out that those buyers don't really exist. They're just you and your partners in crime. Mark can't sell them. You sold them something worthless. This is an old type of scam, usually called a gold brick scam, where the mark is sold something they think is valuable, but turns out not to be. Often you have someone pretending to be an expert who helps them convince the mark that it's valuable. Like you offer to sell a watch to mark, you say it's worth 200, an expert goes, hang on, that's super rare, valuable, limited watch licked by the queen. I'll give you 5,000 for it. And you say, wow, but hey, I'm an honest guy. I already offered to mark for 200. So mark buys it for 200, thinking it's worth 5,000. It's not, of course, it's worth $10. And the supposedly independent expert is on the scam with you. And they also suddenly disappear when Mark tries to resell the watch to them. Because the block <laughs> buck chain, <laughs> the blockchain is a permanent Slime. recording of all transactions. It and the websites reporting on all these sales serves as the independent expert. That is also known as a devious lick, boys. That is how it goes. Okay. A devious ass lick. The most devious lick of all time. <laughs> like that. Rain rot at 40% and climbing. You literally did this with the watches in GTRP? I did. I did do this in Grand Theft Auto Roleplay, where I would sell people watches. Donnie would go up to people and sell people those bullshit ass, like $5 watches for like $1,000. We would go find a rube, a mark, and we would make it seem like, with other people, we would make it seem like the watch was actually really expensive. We would do these scams regularly. Okay? 
And that's why I know a scam when I see one, and I keep telling you that that's a scam, but you don't want to listen to me. Clothing and 13 months subversary. Pogu. I scammed Dean too. I tried to scam a dev. I mean, he knew obviously, but like he still went along with it. You can prove this NFT is worth 5,000 because look, it's sold for much, much more and the board chain never lies. And here's how the IRS is going to hopefully stop this. They're going to require reporting of these transactions. They're going to de-anonymize the big cash transactions. And what's worse, they're going to consider these things investments and tax you on them. Let's go. Let's go, baby. You know what's the horrible part about this though? The main guy that sold you the uh, bored ape, that guy is still caked. Okay. You know who gets on this? The guy who bought it. You are the mother who got caught holding the bag, folks. That's how this works, okay? <sighs> and now you have a bunch of worthless NFTs that we're going to scam people with, and the IRS is going to say, because that's something you could convert into cash, it's a taxable investment. And it's clearly worth 10000 as you say, because we can see the transactions too. And you're going to pay tax on it like it's actually worth the inflated amount you were claiming it's worth. And this is going to destroy the profit potential in the scam, at least in the United States. And while you could try to structure it so that all your transactions happen outside of the United States, I wouldn't try it. The IRS can see all of them. They're public on the Bork Chan. That's right. That is a beautiful, beautiful part of this process is that even YouTube investigators could actually track and trace your crypto wallets. So if YouTubers can make these uh, videos and then literally gift it over oh. to the IRS, all of a sudden, the IRS already has their investigation cut out. They've already done it. So they already out they they already outsourced the investigation to Mudahar and Coffeezilla. I actually thought they had found a way to invest in trade stocks for tax free. Uh I think yeah, they did. They did for a while. So you do see the value of the blockchain, dude. Oh my god. Oh my lord, dude. Oh my lord. People who keep saying you see the value of the blockchain. My, prob my problem with this entire process, I don't have a problem with like having a decentralized system that like literally tracks all the processes. My problem is without a regulatory force that is centralized in a position of control, in a position of like regulating the marketplace, you have nothing, okay? You just have Mudahar and Coffeezilla going, that's f***ed up, look at that, that's f***ed up with nothing else. The reason why it's now something is because there is a regulatory force I in the in the, the that's called the design. Internal Revenue S S Service. Okay. Fork Chan is the blockchain. He's just saying like he's just writing it uh, differently. The Reddit opinions on the bill. I mean, and he's going to destroy the profit potential in the scam. To avoid the IRS, you have to make sure all your transactions are well under the reporting threshold, and that's going to make it harder to money make money on the scam. Then overheard. Uh, then overhead of the Ethernet points Bork Chomp itself, and the need to pay your partners in crime is going to severely cut into their profits at the low end where the IRS isn't watching as closely. And you might think, but Foon, couldn't you do the scam with other things like a Bork Chimp needed? You could just do it with art and property? Yeah, you can. And we have hundreds of years of laws and regulations and investigators to try and stop and punish you for doing it. This is why large transactions get reported to the IRS and banks keep logs. Because if you're going to do it, you're going to do it for a lot of money, given the risk involved. And all this reporting means it'll leave evidence and you'll be far more likely to get caught. I'm following this person. I love this. This is an incredible thread. Yes. In the process, they get to boost the value of their made up currency too. Cryptocurrencies just provide a new way to run old scams. One that wasn't yet under the eyes of the regulatory authorities to keep you from running these scams and laundering money. 14 month dandy. And guess what happens when a new field opens up without the regulation and oversight of the old one? Scammers dust off the book of old tricks. The ones they could have done in the old field until regulations and authorities were introduced specifically to stop them. Bro. Bro. Chat looking cute today. Love it. This is a great thread. Anyway, this is a digital NFTs piglet in a poke here. If anyone's interested in buying it, the old scams never die. They just get a new coat of paint. Yep. I must tell you that 1984 is literally happening. Fortnite Travis Asshole. Scott emote has been removed in the wake of the rapper's deadly Astroworld concert tragedy. Yep, that is 1984. Urgent. The house has passed infrastructure bill with a deadly crypto tax clause. Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> the amount of people that, that have maybe nuts. because of like the industry that I'm in now in the, the gaming space, the amount of people that have told me that they either learned how to scam people or have been scammed in RuneScape is insane. Gambling addictions. Okay. 
people who learn how to fuck people over people who learned how to get uh, how that they have gotten fucked over year. all because Asshole. of runescape so many people dude so many people holy shit but some people especially zoomers have not gotten their runescape lessons okay they have not so they think they're in on it in a lot of instances if you think you're in on the scam you 100 percent are not in on the scam this is how every old uh lady in middle america gets f***ed over and uh gets involved in herbalife and numerous other multi-level marketing schemes that's right because all you're doing is getting in on a multi-level marketing scheme you know what it's not a multi-level marketing scheme though ideology.shop baby that's right Because at least, unlike an NFT, okay. you get like a physical thing when you purchase one of these t-shirts. And if you get either of these unionized t-shirts, all of your profits directly go to strike funds. Kellogg's Worker Strike Fund, the John Deere Worker Strike Fund. That's right. All union made in the United Here States my of money for the America. Slash. On these United States, the Nancy Reagan crack ad, the Thrill Can Kill shirt. A Bernie Sanders shirt made by Kinjiro. My mom lost her home partly due to pyramid schemes and MLMs. I'm sorry to hear that, man. To the best oh, did you make Zizek with the dip? Uh, drip? Yes! Yes, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's real. He did that. He actually wore it straight up on God. Save a shirt for me. I want to buy one for a girl I like, but I can't afford it at the moment. Okay. Anyway. Stop sending me the Paul Gozar shit. I don't want to see it. Okay, let's move on. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>